I am Muhammad Khaliq and we will learn how to find mode of given group data. Please visit mafid.com for more such topics or visit our channel on YouTube that is mafid. If we are given lower class limit, upper class limit and corresponding frequency then this is our given group data and we can find it from given unproved data as well. If you do not know how to find a group data from given ungrouped data then please visit our link given in description. Now let's start our work of finding mode of given group data. First of all we need to find boundary factor and we will find it by subtracting upper class limit from the lower class limit of next class. Lower class limit of next class minus upper class limit divided by 2. Now we will find lower class boundaries by subtracting this boundary factor from lower class limits. Lower class limit minus boundary factor select it F4 enter and we had got our lower class boundary of first class. Drag it downwards and we will get for rest of the classes. Now we will find upper class boundaries. For upper class boundaries, we will add upper class boundary and boundary factor. As boundary factor will remain same, so select it, press F4, enter, drag it downwards. Now we will find sum of all frequencies. Next, we need cumulative frequency and for cumulative frequency, first class will have the same frequency of cumulative as for the simple frequency. For next class, we will have sum of cumulative frequency of previous class plus the frequen present frequency of class, so that is simple frequency. 10 plus 13 is equal to 23 and same for rest of the classes and next we need to find n by 2 what is n by 2? n by 2 is the sum of frequency divided by 2 sum of the frequency divided by 2 and this is our n by 2 and now we had come across the main task that is finding model class the class whose cumulative frequency includes this 30 value means n by 2 value that class would be our model class. Keep in mind that our first class can never can never be model class in case of mod. So put zero in advance here for all the values. Now cumulative frequency means Now we are finding our model class based on cumulative frequency. If our value of cumulative frequency is greater than or equal to the n by 2 value and if the value of previous cell of finding model class column is also 0 that is equal to 0 then it means the present class which fulfills these two conditions is our model class and to identify that we will print one but if it's not model class then it means that value is greater than or equal to the n by 2 value but the previous value of the cell is not zero means we had already got our model class so we will print two to identify that and if our value is not greater than the n by 2 value then condition is false so value is false we print 0 practice this formula as it's very important as the e20 will remain same so select it press f4 now drag it downwards and the model class will get the value 1 so the third class is the model class now we need to find the lower class boundary of our model class so, if 
the finding model class column has the value equal to 1 then the class would be model class and print its lower class boundary that is this one if not condition is true then print 0 drag it downwards and we had got lower class boundary of our model class similarly we will find frequency of our model class by applying the condition if finding model class value is e equal to 1 then print the frequency of our model class and if condition is false print 0 enter drag it downwards and the model class frequency will be printed now we need a frequency of class which is before model class For example here 1 is there means third row or third class here model class and the f1 is the frequency of class 2 that is 13 okay if our model class equal to 1 then print the frequency before it as print 0 drag it downwards and yes we had got 13 which is the frequency of class before model class now we need a frequency of class after model class if value in finding model class is equal to 1 then print the frequency of class before it as print 0 drag it downwards and we have got the frequency f2 which is the frequency of class next to model class 9 the, this 107.5 or any value of lower class boundary fm f1 or f2 can appear here 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 or here so the cell is not constant or predefined value can appear in any of these cells but we need a fixed cell to make this process automatic so that later on when we change the data we get the, our model mod automatically without doing any further process so we will have some of all the values and we will get our lower class boundary always here similarly for rest of the columns we will drag it rightward now we have find all the values which we require to find our mod we had found the lower class boundary of model class size of class frequency of model class frequency of class before model class and frequency of class which is after model class and we had found all these values because the formula of mod is l plus fm minus f1 over fm minus f1 plus fm minus f2 into h now let's print these values here lower class boundary value is one zero seven point five class size is twenty we got this class size twenty when we found this group data from ungrouped data now frequency of model class is this one is equal to frequency of class before model class this one and frequency of class after model class now we can see that formula includes fm minus f1 and fm minus f2 terms so first we will find it fm this cell minus f1 now fm minus f2 is equal to fm minus f2 now sum of these both here plus value of fm minus f2 now simply we will put the these values in a single cell and excel will calculate the answer for us is equal to 
value of L that is 107.5 plus in bracket value of FM minus F1 this value divided by value of FM minus F1 plus FM minus F2 this value and multiply it by the size of class that is 20 because in formula we have H enter and we have successfully found the mod of group data thank you